Hi everyone, this is a short video on how our 10.25 inch uh, screen uh, Android unit for the E38 works. So if we start the unit up, um, it fires up and I have three main apps set up for the unit um, to fire up one. The first one is uh, the iBus app. The second one is uh, Waze obviously for navigation and then the third one is Spotify for music which are the three main apps that I use and as you can see they're sort of they fire themselves up and you can basically get the unit program the unit to start up with any app that you want or you can do it yourself but let me just go to the main sort of home screen for the unit so this is the main home screen which is customizable you can download widgets and stuff you can change all of these um to spotify or what have you but this is the main radio app now if we go somewhere local hold on there we go that's one of our local radio stations here and the beauty of it is is it has a nighttime mode as well so if you switch your, your lights on that's what it looks like in the dark and so that's a nighttime view daytime view and it's the same with um, the main uh, menu here. So if you do that, that's a nighttime view of it. And that's a daytime view of it. But like I said, the three main apps that I use are as follows. So let's turn the volume off on the radio there. And let's get rid of the radio. So the main app and the, the, the best app for any Android unit is this. This is the iBus app. Um that comes preloaded with it. And how this works is it uses a Resler USB interface, which connects to the back of the unit through one of the USB ports and is also connected to the, the CAN bus on the car, which is where it gets all the data. Now, normally when you put an Android unit in any BMW, you lose all the onboard computer data that you would normally get in the car. Um, with this app, it does a number of uh, different things. The first and most important one is you've got the original um, cars onboard computer data so you've got your range there outside temperature consumption one or two which can be reset your average speed which can be reset it has a separate trip also tells you the engine temperature it gives you the en your car speed gives the engine speed it gives voltage gives the oil temperature uh, and also the coolant temperature and it's got another one here that gives you the power now the other issue with android units for bmws is if your car is equipped with factory dsp which is the digital sound processor and on an E38, that has the four subs on the rear parcel shelf. The Android, an Android unit will stop that from working, will stop your sound from working. And how that works is you have two amps in the car and the DSP amp requires a signal from the main amp sent to it to tell it to switch on. And what happens when you put an Android unit in, you lose that. However, with this software and with this app, everything works. So what you can do is if you hit that button, it sends a signal that says DSP start send. So then that switches on the digital sound process, which means all your sound will work through the digital sound process. And you have full control of that. So if I go to DSP here, there you go. That's the uh, the original uh, one, two, three, four, five, seven um, um, channel equalizer that the DSP has. Room and echo. Again, all of this is controllable. And then that's your balance, fader, treble and bass um, for, the, for the, the standard system on the car. So that's all there and everything works. Now, the other thing this app allows you to do is um, it allows you to do some coding on the car. And I'll give an example. On my particular car, I have a number of things. I have Angel Eyes installed on the car. So I have got my side lights set as my daytime running lights. And those side lights then switch my angel eyes on so whenever i switch my car on my angel eyes are on i have um uh on the i key the little dot matrix display underneath the speedometer i have a welcome message um set and you can decide how long you want it displayed for up to nine seconds and my welcome text is ac schnitzer s7 v8 because my car's a schnitzer 7 series now the other thing you can do is you can show within that dot matrix display, you can show 
the park distance controls. And if you see it, it says there's PDC distance and IKE. And that gives you the dis it gives you a little bar graph with three bars on it for both the front and the rear, and it tells you in inches how far away your car is uh, from the front and back. Um, and on top of that, if you have Spotify, for example, as in music, you can enable Spotify to share its track information with external apps. And once you do that, whenever you play your Spotify tunes, the name of the artist and the name of the track will scroll through your IKEA display underneath your uh, speedo. And there's a video of that on our website that you can have a look. Now, the other thing you can do with this is, I'll give you another example. It's got here light functions. So my car has the daytime running lights set as um, the, um, the, sorry, my angel eyes set as my daytime running lights. It also has comfort turn signals. So I have soft touch indicator. So when you hit the indicator stalk just the once, it will flash three times and switch off. And you can have that flashing up to seven times and you can turn that from here. Um, the other thing I have is cornering lights. So the cornering lights I've set up, up to 50 miles an hour. So whenever I indicate, it will switch the front indicator on. Uh, sorry, that will switch the front fog light on to give you a cornering light. Um, on top of that, there's loads of other functions that the unit does. And the other thing you can program from it, for example, I have the car automatically locks um, the central locking system. I have automatic close at 15 miles an hour. I have automatic open the minute the ignition comes off and I also have it op um, shutting any of the open windows. If there are any opens that you've left open, the minute you switch ignition off, it will unlock the car and it will close any open window. And all of those functions and many, many more are programmable through this app. The other thing the app does is um, it can give you, it gives you your park distance. So if your car's got park distance control um, with parking sensors front and rear, it gives you... Um, a graphical representation here, red, yellow, and green, um, to show how far you are from the car. It also shows you, like for instance, my angel eyes are on at the moment. If I switch my main lights on, uh, side lights on, you see the rear lights have come on. If I switch my main lights on, that's the light showing. That's the full beam showing. Now my door showing because it's got a faulty sensor on one of the back doors there. But this also gives you that, and this is also displayed in mini form right in the middle of that screen. So this app is the app to have if you have an Android unit, and this is included in, in this unit, and so is the Resler um, USB interface, and all the wiring is all done so it literally plugs and plays. So there's no cutting of wires that's required, there's no soldering from your part that's required, or anything else. So that is one of the main functions um, of the unit, and that it's a bit of software that we don't sell an Android unit without anymore. Okay, navigation, I mentioned this before, so I prefer to use Waze um, for all my navigation uh, needs. I've just updated this app actually now. So this um, is what I use for my main navigation. However, if you prefer using, for example, Google Maps, this, like any other smartphone, you can download any, any, any app that you want. Hold on. Let's try to put me back into Waze. So... If I go to Google Maps, for example, Google Maps loads up. And let's have a look. Say we put in navigation. Now, a good thing about Google Maps, again, working with the iBus app, for instance, if you um, use Google Maps and you put directions in, what, what the unit starts doing is it displays the turn by turn if you if you hit the turn by turn directions on this oh, oh I need to turn the volume up so it displays the turn by turn directions in your IKE display and it then say for instance you're getting to a junction where you need to turn left it counts down in the number of yards um, how far you've got until you have to turn left and obviously complements the, the, the navigation that's coming out of here. Now what you can do is you can switch that off um, if you wanted to and just use the directions that come up on your dashboard but you really want to have that on. So if you prefer using Google Maps you can do that. Um, like give an example if you zoom out there I've just got this I'm stuck in a random destination and there you go. So you can use that. I prefer to use Waze, to be honest with you, because it's very, very much interactive and 
more importantly, all the speed cameras are on it where I live. And uh, not only that, wherever you live as well. So that's one thing you can do if you fancy it. Now, let's get rid of that. Okay, that's Google Maps. Now, the other thing for entertainment purposes, like I said, I use Spotify for music. However, you can download Netflix. You can download loads of other TV apps and what have you. And for instance, there's YouTube there. So if you want to watch YouTube videos, YouTube's already there. Um, you can download it. Like I said, just like as you would download any other app, um, you can download whatever app you fancy uh, on here. So there's a car wow video, for example. With the Amazon app, browse and shop millions of items. Oh, and by the way, you can download Amazon Prime on this as well and watch all your Amazon, if you've got an Amazon Prime account, for example. So there you go. There's a YouTube video playing here now. And again, this will work um, even if you're driving the car. Now, how all this unit gets all of its data um, is I have um, it can hotspot with your um, uh, with your with your current phone, so you can spec your wife you can put your Hi-Fi hotspot uh, hotspot on Wi-Fi hotspot on your phone, and and what you do is you go into the settings. I'll show you here: mobile internet and data, Wi-Fi is on. Now I have it connected to, I've got a 4G Wi-Fi USB um, hotspot and I keep it permanently in the car. And this is connected to that and that is on a permanent feed as well, a permanent live. So whenever I get in the car, it connect, it's already connected to it and you can basically drive off and listen to what you want. And like I said, for me, I'm very much a Spotify person. And I love the fact that I can have my whole music library, whether I'm listening it to it at home, on my phone or where have you. So I have that always running in the background. I have my navigation running with uh, with Waze. Um, and that's usually my my uh, my home screen. But like I said, this is like an Android tablet. And you can download whatever app you want and you can use whatever you want. So whatever music streaming service you'd like, you know, that's entirely up to yourself. Now, the other thing we do with the unit is um, we install what's called a HAL 9 ROM, which is this whole interface. And it's the best ROM for any Android unit there. And one of the things it allows us to do is, one, give you a custom wallpaper. And I give an example, that's a custom wallpaper for my particular car, that's my car. And then obviously that's the Schnitzer logo. And we offer this as an additional service where we can make you your background and we can also make you a startup screen. And I'll show you the startup screen in a minute. Um, now, with this HAL 9 ROM, and because this unit has a built-in digital sound processor of itself, we also install what's called the HAL 9 um, DSP interface. So this is the digital sound processor that's built into this unit. Now, the digital sound processor that's built into this unit, it gives you a 15-band equalizer. It also allows you to set bypass. So you've got front, rear, middle. And what you can do is you can set bypasses of what frequencies you want to run. So I'll give you an example. Say you're running the rear channel purely as a sub with an amp. You can then set the frequencies to go. You can have only the, um, the, the base frequencies going through that. So that's one of the things that the unit does. But the other thing that's brilliant about this unit is it's got this delay function. And what you do with this is you basically you put in the details of the measurements from front left to front right speaker here front left to front rear on an e38 it's 1.47 meters and 0.91 meters and what it, this does is it basically sets up your sound platform so you can have the sound there showing in the middle of the car and that balances the sound everywhere obviously we're in the uk we're right hand drive so it's set under co-pilot this now focuses all the sound to the driver so what it does it actually builds some delay in to the speakers that are closest to you so that all the sound arrives to where you are in the car at the same spot and the difference it makes is unbelievable so that again is all built in as part of the unit and it all works with the digital sound processor that um, we have in the car okay setting your gains front and rear speakers 
for balancing out front and rear, middle, and also base. And then this is again, you can decide how much bass and what frequencies of bass you want to bring in and out of the, um, of the speaker. So you can go right down to 60 hertz, up to 100 hertz, up to you, and it's up to you, you can switch it on and off. For all your audio files, you're going to love this because there's so much flexibility with this, it's brilliant. For your average Joe Bloggs user like myself, the only thing I'm really interested in is, first of all, the graphic equalizer, um, and secondly, the delay function where I have the sound stage focused on me when I'm driving and then everybody when everybody else if they have more than myself in the car but the difference in sound quality between a unit with a digital sound processor like this and an Android unit with that as digital sound pr processor is immense and I've been selling these units for three years now I would never sell a unit that doesn't have a digital sound processor built into it because the sound quality it, the difference is absolutely night and day and it's something I totally recommend now, um, where are we? We're going back to um, the main unit. That's basically it. I have BBC iPlayer for here for the UK. Um, now, the other things you can do is you can buy a tire pressure monitoring system um, and the apps built into it. You link it through Bluetooth and this will give you your tire pressures as well. You can add a rear view camera so that when you put it into reverse, the rear view camera comes on. You can add um, a forward facing camera um, uh, that will basically record everything. A lot of insurance companies now require to have um, a camera in the car that's on all the time. Well, this unit can basically, you can add the camera and it will record everything for you. Um, there's memory slots and there's two USB um, uh, interfaces that come with it that I, I have plugged into my, that. well, they're available through my glove box, but you can basically wire them up and leave them in your, gear, uh, in your glove box as well. Now, the other beauty is everything that you see here all works through your steering wheel controls. So I'll give you an example. So if I go back to Spotify and there's Pink Floyd playing, I can turn the volume up from the steering wheel. I can hit next track and it selects the next track. <clears throat> I can go back on the track, start that again, or back to Pink Floyd. And everything works through your steering wheel controls as if it was an original uh, um, BMW unit. Okay, and the other thing is it has a built-in Bluetooth hands-free car kit. So your phone connects to it automatically through uh, um, Bluetooth. And the beauty of it is, um, oh, sorry, that's your uh, Google voice control. You can actually set your voice control up and that will control your um, uh, your voice. Now, the other thing is when, if say your, your phone's connected via Bluetooth, once you connect it via Bluetooth and somebody rings you, their number will come up on the screen. You can answer the phone from the, the telephone button actually on your steering wheel. So it would answer it as if you've got your own car phone in the car. Um, and that's all built in, integrated. <clears throat> it has A to B. So say you're playing something on your phone. If you click that, you connect your phone to it, you, you sync it with Bluetooth. And what it does is um, it will play the sound um, through the head unit. Um, again, you, there's an auxiliary input as well. So say you want to use that, you can have that wired into your glove box or wired in wherever you want, and you can use it through wire, but then that sort of defeats the whole purpose of having an Android unit in the first place. Um, the Play Store is there for you to download whichever app um, you want. And again, if you're using apps on your phone and you like them, you can download them um, onto the head unit just like you would do on a normal phone. So let's get rid of that and get rid of that. Now, I'm going to show you, the last thing I'm going to show you is the custom startup screen that we do. So if I press and hold this and do a restart, the unit will now power off and it will restart and you will see the custom start screen that I have done for this particular car. So this is the HAL 9 ROM that was already pre-installed on the car. Um, so this is the unit booting up from fresh. Now... That's a custom start screen that I've done for my car. So that is my particular car, the car that we're in at the moment. Um, and again, we can you can email us a picture of your car you, or you, we can design something for you um, and have that pre-installed on the car so that when you get the unit, it's already been done. And like I said, that's my custom wallpaper. That's my own car again. And then that's the unit firing up for the for the very first time. But what happens is once, you fire, once it fires up for the very first time, um, 
it always stays in a standby mode. So the next time you get in the car, it fires up literally um, within seconds. So again, what I like to have running, and that's why I've got them on this screen, is I've got the iBus app. And the way I've got the iBus set up is it will power up. It will then um, start Waze for my navigation and then we'll start Spotify for my music. So you'll see that in a second. Um, and like I said, this app is probably the best thing um, that you can get for an Android unit, to be perfectly honest. So that's Waze firing up now. And then you see um, after 10 seconds, um, Spotify, Spotify will fire up as well. And there you go. So that's me. I'm in the car because I have my um, 4G Wi-Fi dongle in the car already running. The unit automatic connects to the Wi-Fi. Um, it fires up and everything gets going. And that's it basically ready to use. So once this is all up and running, what you do is, um, let me show you now. So if we play that again. Oh, wrong one. So that's the DSP signal sent to start the DSP amp because my guy has DSP. So that's that running. So if we go look back to Spotify. So like I said, the first time the car boots up, it takes time now. This is it running. If I switch the car off now, you see the unit powering down. And it stays in a standby mode. So now the next time you get in your car and you power it up, this is how quickly it fires up. There you go, Waze is already running. And so is Spotify. And that's it. And it's done. Go to Spotify, stop my music, and we're ready to rock and roll. Oh. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. So if you have any questions or any queries, you can drop us an email or you can send us a message on Facebook and we'll be more than happy to uh, answer your questions. Um, we've had lots of people that have already got these units now and they're very, very happy with them. It took me a very long time to put, get this unit together. And as you know, there are issues with clearing the HVAC. This unit, however, doesn't suffer from any of those and it fits straight in the car. I know there's a lot of people out there that prefer the OEM look and I totally get that and I totally understand that. But for me personally, I prefer this look. I think it modernizes the car uh, and I think it looks fantastic in the car as well and it doesn't look out of place. So if you're interested, like I said, drop us a message on email or Facebook or check out our webpage, which is uh, www.mcmwtuning.co.uk and you'll find all the details of this here. Thank you very much. Look forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.